Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome back to official channel Video Pro Vlogger. New series of Video Pro Guide tutorial is now available on your channel, where you can find a complete set of videos showing you how to use Video Pro Vlogger to create stunning video from scratch. But before we dive into the journey, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get the video started. In today's tutorial, we will give you a thorough tour about the timeline. The timeline sits at the bottom of the interface and incorporates control panel, tracks, time runner, playhead, skimmer, and other accompanying toggles and controls. Down here on the far left equips different types of tracks for your use including video track, overlay track, effect track, audio track, and subtitle track. Video track is available for adding video clips, pictures, and credit titles from the media library. And what could be imported to video track should also be put in the overlay track. But one thing you'll need to know is that the elements on the overlay track will appear on the top of the video track. For multiple overlay tracks, elements on the bottommost overlay track will stay on the topmost place in the preview window. Well, this is how the picture-in-picture -picture or split-screen effect come to be. For more details, you can watch related videos made in our channel, and I will link it at the top right of the screen. For effect track, you can drag the effect from effect panel to here to render your clips with dynamic effect. An audio track, well, as the name implies, is open for adding sound, sound effect, background music, ringtones, and any audio file you want to work with. At last, we have the subtitle track, which goes for adding text, titles, or the important subtitle and the lyrics. Other than the tracks lying in the timeline, you can also make use of different toggles and controls to process your edit. Let's go through them one by one. We start with the lock icon supplied on each track. If kicked off, it could lock the corresponding track and prevent any changes during your editing work. And to quick lock them all, you can touch your lock above here at the top. This one, we call it eye icon, is used to hide the content like, um, if you have too many subjects on the screen and you can quick locate specific elements by simply toggling on the corresponding track and turn off the irrelevant ones. Next, move to a sound icon. Click here to mute audio of the entire track. And then the maglet icon, which is my favorite actually. When the maglet icon is enabled, the auto absorption could take effect which means with the tool selected, a reference line will be displayed to smoothly join the two clips without any gap showing. Finishing all those toggles in the control panel, let's talk about the opacity slider. It can be found on the overlay track and subtitle track to adjust the opacity of the track. One easy trick I want to show you here is you could directly drag the tracks up and down. This might save you a lot of work, especially when you are going to move all those subjects on the track. With Video Proc Vlogger, you can add 999 tracks to your timeline. And to add a track, click here. Or this Add icon down here. So is to delete a track. Click the Trash Bin icon on the Timeline Control Panel to delete a track. Or one click to remove all the blank tracks. The relevant indicator will show up after you click the Add icon. The last of few basics we're going to walk through are first, the playhead. It represents the current position being displayed in the preview window. You can also check the real-time image the playhead stands at in the preview window. Then the time runner, which indicates the time and frame of the timeline. You can adjust the length of the timeline according to your needs. I will show you three ways here. Directly hover your mouse on the time runner. Press drag it to the right or left to enlarge or shrink the timeline. Second, 
One click here to quick change your timeline view by fitting the timeline content into the available window size. Or we'll move here to make things work. At the top here, you can find a handful of editing tools. On the far left is split tool to split video, audio, and image on the timeline. Well, for those who want to learn how to create split, go check out the related video in our channel, which I'll link at the top right of the screen. Let's see here is a ripple edit, through which you can move the subsequent clips along when you trim the previous clip so that low gaps leaves between the two clips. And this is Time Stretch, one of the ways to change the speed of the video. This one here is a marker. Click it to add into the timeline or clip. Well, the markers in the timeline will stay fixed on the time runner. This is very ideal for using as a reference to cut a bit or indicate a specific time. And if you want to add a marker in the clip instead of the timeline, select the clip, right click, and choose Add Marker in Clip. That's it. Along with that, you could double click the marker to switch your color in blue and green. To adjust the sequence of the clips, generally, you can drag the clip back and forward to rearrange your order. But if you have a very long video, then right-click it and select Move Back or Move Forward to get what you want. If you want to add a color tag or change your name of the video in the video track, navigate to the top right corner here to do the work. One last thing I want to share here is that if you drag the video file that comes along with your soundtrack to audio track, the video will be removed automatically. But if you drag it to overlay track, on the other hand, only the video will remain, the audio will be disposed. Alright, now if you reached today's video about a timeline in Video Proc Vlogger, I think you've got a comprehensive understanding to it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you soon in our next guide tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.